Mildred! Home, Mr. Hunter! <laughs> Hello, Moby. Uh, your dad's back. Uh, I'll give out 30 tickets a day. 31 if you count the Rolls Royce parked on two metres. Keep your voice down. I stuck a ticket on both ends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's never been done before. Why? Well, Tristram's doing his homework. Well, he can't hear me next door. He's in our kitchen. Anne's taking the baby to the clinic. Oh, yeah. I've booked his dad today. Four mile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he had to come rushing out the barbers with his hair all wet. Oh. <laughs> George, he's a friend. Not anymore. You should have heard his language. <laughs> you are drunk with power. Why don't you go and book Anne's pram? Oh, don't be silly, Mildred. I'm off duty now. <laughs> right, what's for dinner? Ah, um, I want you to try something new. Oh, my God. <laughs> also buco. Who? Knuckle of veal. Well, I'm not eating knuckles. You will be if you don't try it. <laughs> right, now, it'll be ready in half an hour. Well, where are you going? I'm off to the pub to numb me taste buds. <laughs> Half an hour, or I'll be... Oh, <laughs> hello, love. Oh, you having trouble? I'm looking for the lowest common denominator. Oh, uh, he's just gone to the pub, dear. <laughs> yeah, I've booked 31 today. That's my best yet. Oh, yeah. Look, do your coat up while you're in here. We don't want any violence. <laughs> <laughs> There's no need for that attitude. <laughs> Ah, hello, son. Nice evening. Are you talking to me? Oh, don't be like that. That was this afternoon when I was on duty. I mean, now it's this evening. We're all mates together. Mates? Well, I was only obeying the orders, you know. That's what Goering said. Oh, yeah? I don't know him. Must be from another district. <laughs> evening. Uh, half special, please. All right. Is there a uh, Peacock Crescent around here? Yeah, it's first on the left. George Roper. Yeah, that's right, you know him. Bald, runty fella. Is he? Never buys around. Yeah, that's him over there. <laughs> the, the yellow peril. And that is my opinion of you. And what do you think of that? Yeah, well, some people might be offended by the phrase arrogant little twerp. <laughs> well, well, I know you didn't mean it unkindly. How do I get through to him? Yeah, so why don't we all have a nice friendly drink, eh? Show there's no hard feelings. Mine's a scotch. <laughs> Excuse me. Mr. Roper. Uh, yeah, that's me. George Roper. Used to live in Lascar Street, Hackney. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. You're not from the HP company, are you? No, no. It, uh, my card. Uh, that's who I am. Yeah. Plumber? Plumber? I don't think I know you, do I? No, no, that's my job, not my name. Yeah, oh, <laughs> Can we sit down for a minute? Oh, yeah, right. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, uh, I don't need any plumbing. No, it's not about that. Look, did you know a Rosie Albright back in 1945 in Hackney? Rosie Albright? Ro oh, yeah, Rosie. Little fat girl, big hooter on her. Yeah. She was my mother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, uh, hooter wasn't all that big, a bit like yours, really. <laughs> oh, so she got married then, did she? No. Oh. Yeah, well, there's no shame in it these days. I mean, you being a barb... Uh, by the way, how is Rosie? <laughs> She's dead. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> hey? A couple of months ago. Oh. Yeah, well, these things are often meant for the best. <laughs> Good night, son. Of course. <laughs> Quite a job tracking you down. You're off moved around a lot. Oh, yeah, well, I had to, see, uh, on account of the HP. Oh. Why have you been looking for me? Did Rosie leave a will? No. Oh, but she did leave this, so I found it amongst her things. A diary? Yeah, that's right. You see, she never tell me who my father was. Always changed the subject when I asked. <laughs> the only thing she told me was it happened on VE night. Uh, yeah, well, I ought to be going May the now. 8th, 1945. Would you like to read what she wrote? Uh, no, 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 it's very kind of you. Went out with George Roper. It finally happened. Exclamation mark. <laughs> now I am a woman. Two exclamation marks. <laughs> what are you implying, eh? Oh, I think that's pretty obvious. Dad. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Question seven. Where does most of our coffee come from? Well, most of mine comes from Tesco's, dear. Oh, uh, I don't suppose they mean that, do they? No, I think they mean which country. Oh, yes. Here, wait a minute, I did know. Uh, uh, Brazil. Brazil. Yeah. Rubber. That'll be Malaya, dear. No, I spelled Brazil wrong. Ah, <laughs> oh, hello, love. Hello, Mildred. You're going to bring the pram in? I'll leave it outside. He's asleep. Oh well. Let's hope George doesn't see it. Otherwise, you'll have it towed away. <laughs> How's the homework coming on? Slowly. Mrs. Ripe has been helping me. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I'm afraid geometry is not my strong subject. Geography. Ah, that explains it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, of course I remember V. I, I mean, everybody does. I don't. Uh, no? Uh, oh, yeah, well, you weren't born. Uh, uh, um, yeah, well, I, I, I remember uh, be, be being with Rosie, but I mean, we, uh, well, we didn't do things. <laughs> I remember the whole evening very clearly. Up to the fourth point. <laughs> it finally happened. I wonder what it means. Well, I don't know, do I? Perhaps I held her hand. And I was born nine months later. You've got a very personal <laughs> hand. Now, look here, son. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, when I say son, I mean, I called everybody son. Uh, uh, hey, wait a minute. We weren't alone. There was another couple with us, yeah. Ernie, a mate of mine, and his what's name? Um, it, it's a girlfriend. Yeah, I clearly remember them being with us. Up to the fourth point. Up to the fourth point. Yeah. <laughs> this is ridiculous, ridiculous. I mean, you don't even look like me, so, well, well, I mean, I've got a moustache and you've got <laughs> Oh, my God. I don't want anything off you, you know. What? I was just curious to see what my dad looked like. Well, it's natural enough, isn't it? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Well, maybe see if I had any brothers or sisters. Yeah, oh, no, 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 nothing like that. I mean, me and Mildred, we... Mildred? <laughs> So it's blackmailed, is that it? Oh, God. Maybe I was right. I shouldn't have come. Hey, no, hang on. No, don't rush off like that. Uh, yeah. Oh, God. But, yeah, perhaps you'd better rush off. Look, you need time to take it in. Now, you got me phone number if you want to give me a ring? Oh, uh, yeah, right. Hmm. Well, cheerio, Dad. Uh, oh, yeah, cheerio. <laughs> now, look, George. I did say half an hour. The dinner is ruined, and I... Did he say Dad? <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> Ridiculous, George. I mean, don't tell me you believe him. Well, I did go out with her that night, I remember. Yes, I know, but you a father? Oh, come on. <laughs> well, it could happen, Mildred. What? I mean, must have been the drink. I don't go in for that sort of thing when I'm sober. Not <laughs> often, no. He was, uh, he was a nice-looking lad, wasn't he? Red hair and that. Oh, I really didn't see him, George. You know, I didn't... Uh, not properly. Yeah, quite handsome, in fact. Oh, well, that settles it. He's definitely not yours. <laughs> go and wash your hands for dinner. Hey, Mildred. Yeah. You're, uh, you're jealous, aren't you? <laughs> Don't be silly. Well, just because you haven't got a son doesn't mean that I can't have a son. <laughs> you are talking yourself into believing it. Well, stranger things have happened. I mean, this young fellow, uh, what's his name? I mean, he might well be, uh, yeah, yeah, Bill. There, I see. He might well be my, my boy, Bill. <laughs> George, if you had done anything, you'd have remembered. I mean, you know, the flags would have been out. A brass band, a parade. Church bells would have been ringing. They were. That was VE night. Yeah, but even so, I mean, hey, Ernie and what's his name, uh, his girlfriend, now, they were with us. Now, Ernie, remember? Yeah, he was a, he was a bank clerk in Acne. Um, yeah, Ernie, uh, oh, God, what was his name? Uh, My Asabuco! I oh, know, he was English. <laughs> Groves. Yeah, Ernie Groves. Come in. Mr. and Mrs. Roper, sir. Oh, uh, do come in, please. Hello, uh, Ernie. Hello. <laughs> Take a seat. Oh, oh, thank you. Oh. Oh, so you've done very well for yourself, Ernie. Oh, uh, don't call me Ernie. Ernest, if you must, but better still, Mr. Groves. <laughs> you see, I wouldn't like it to get about amongst the staff that I have a first name. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, right. Well, uh, this is my missus, Mildred. Oh, charm. How do you do? How do you do? <laughs> well, quite a surprise when you telephone. <laughs> it must be all of 30 years or more. Still, always glad to welcome new customers. Oh, no, no, no. We're not customers. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. You see, why we've called is that, well, George thinks he has a son, and I don't. <laughs> oh, yes. Well, uh, surely you would recall... If you had one, I mean. I haven't. 
sense. Yeah. Well, that seems pretty conclusive. Yeah, but I have, see? Well, I mean, I, I may have. Look, Ernie, just one question. Do you remember what happened on VE night? VE night? V oh, yes, I do. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, my word. <laughs> oh, that was a night. No, no, I don't remember. <laughs> On Ernie. There was me, Rosie Albright, you and uh, uh, what's name? Uh, Doris. Yeah, Doris, yeah, with skinny legs, bit prim and proper. Yeah, face <laughs> like vinegar. <laughs> oh, I wonder what happened to her. It's my wife. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, she's very nice. Now, look, this Rosie Albright, now her son's turned up. He claims that George is his father. Yeah, Bill, his name is uh, Bill. Yeah, handsome lad. No. Oh. He does not remember what happened that night. No, he doesn't. He says he was drunk. I mean, do you remember what happened that night? Well, I do remember one thing. What? Uh, excuse me. <laughs> he was drunk. <laughs> I remember we all went back to Rosie's place and Doris and I, we had a cup of tea and a Fig Newton. <laughs> Well, uh, 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 George and R Rosie, they, um, uh, I, I did not see anything of an immoral nature. You didn't? No, you both shut the bedroom door behind you. <laughs> well, you see, Doris, she, she didn't approve of that sort of thing. Still doesn't, as a matter of fact. <laughs> so we left. George, what have you done? Oh, uh, one more thing. As we left, I remember, the church bells started ringing. Seems pretty conclusive, wouldn't you say? Mm. Mildred? George, I can't read a book with you chattering. Well, you can't read it upside down anyway. <laughs> Something's upset you, isn't it? Just a little, yes. Is it because I wouldn't eat your Aussie buco? <laughs> <laughs> you have a 33-year-old son. Oh, right. Yeah. I have nothing. Yes, you have. You've got your little dog. He liked your Aussie buco. <laughs> It's what I've always wanted, a child. Yeah. Oh, it's funny how life goes, isn't it? I've always wanted a pair of roller skates. <laughs> and now it's too late. Oh, yeah, it is. I haven't got the balance anymore. <laughs> George, invite him round. You know, I want to meet him properly. Oh, yeah, right. I'll do that. <laughs> Not now. <laughs> Called him what? An arrogant little twerp. It has a sort of ring to it, don't you think? That's not fair. But it's true. Yes, but it's not fair. He was only doing his job. All right, he's a professional arrogant little twerp. <laughs> well, I think an apology is in order. I agree, but he'll never give me one. <laughs> Half a bitter and a bottle of sherry, please. In the same glass? <laughs> no, 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 no. No, the sherry should take it home. Yeah, a right. special occasion tonight. Oh, evening. Yeah. We're neighbours, Geoffrey. I have to get along with them as well. All right, I withdraw the little. He's medium-sized. <laughs> just for my sake. I'm not asking you to apologise. Just say you're sorry. Well... Evening. Special occasion tonight. Mr Roper, mm -hmm. I have something to say to you. I... I'm sorry you're an arrogant little twerp. <laughs> Apology accepted. <laughs> hey, I've got my son coming round for dinner. Oh, good. But... Your son? Oh, what have you bought? Oh, a Montelado. Oh, yes, they always make a very nice sherry. Yeah. Oh, I miss quite a lot, you know, him growing up without me knowing. Yes. 16 years child allowance for kickoff. Yes. <laughs> well, speaking as.
as his stepmother. You what? <laughs> oh, yeah. I suppose you are in a sort of way. <laughs> not your flesh and blood, of course. No, George. No, not the same thing at all. Nothing to do with you, in fact. Oh, sorry, you were saying? No, nothing. Oh, right, now, uh, Mildred, I don't want you letting me down. Say hello nicely and be pleasant. <laughs> Hello, son. Oh, uh, come in this way. That's right. Uh, down here. Um, come and sit down. Make yourself at home. Uh, this is uh, my wife, Mrs. Roper. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I'm sure this must have been a bit of a shock to you. Uh, me, I mean, turning up like I did. Well, yes, in a way, you know. Oh, oh not so much you being your son, but uh, him being your father. <laughs> Yeah, right, uh, Sherry's? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I've got a nice amount of lada lada low here. Yeah. <laughs> right, well, sit down, son. Oh, son. Mm. Son. <laughs> well, now, tell me all about yourself. What have you been up to? Uh, since when? <laughs> since you were born. There we are. Oh. Uh, sit. Right. Uh, now then. <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, what have you been up to, then? Well, uh, after I was born, I went to school. Thank you, Dick. Thanks, Dad. Then I left school and became a plumber. Oh, uh, fascinating. Oh, oh. <laughs> what about yourself, then? Oh, we got married about 25 years ago, you know, and, um, uh, not a lot has happened since then. No. Uh, you never married? Oh, yeah, yeah, about a couple of years ago, Jenny. Oh, oh I've got a daughter-in-law, eh? Yeah. And we got a little nipper, Amanda. <laughs> I'm a granddad. <laughs> it's a ghastly thought, Anne. A second generation of ropers. Well, not all children grow up like their fathers. Oh, yes, they do. Oh, no, they don't. Ours are quite <coughs> nice. Mm. His son will probably have another son, and so on and so on. The streets will be thick with them, sticking tickets on people's cars. <laughs> you're quite handsome when you're paranoid. Huh? Huh. It must have been a bit of a shock, though. I mean, imagine you're in a pub and a perfect stranger comes up to you and says he's your son. <laughs> Excuse me, Dad. Dad? <laughs> I'm just going to get filled with the bar, that's all. Ah. <sighs> ah, yeah. Those were the good old days. Yeah. Oh, ta. Mm. Mm. Of course, you wouldn't remember the war. <laughs> no. <laughs> Very nice meal, Mrs. Roper. Oh, thank you. Yeah, there used to be an air raid shelter in Lasker Street. Well, that's where I first met your mother. Oh, really? Well, not so much met. I saw a name and phone number on the wall. George, <laughs> uh, do you have a photograph of my step-granddaughter? Not on me, no. Yeah, I've been thinking about that. I'm not so sure about Amanda. I think Georgina would be in a better name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, anyway, let's get back to the wall. Yeah. I've still got my ration book. That'll interest you. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, I ought to be going. I always like to tuck her in last thing at night. Oh, well, I do hope we see you again. Again? Oh, yeah, yeah, bound to, bound to. Well, I'll say cheerio, then. Yeah. yeah, I've got a bit of shrapnel here, too, somewhere. Now is a very good time to leave before he starts doing his impressions. Mm -hmm. You know, fumph and Colonel Chinstrap. Who? Uh -huh. Oh, never mind, love, come on. Oh. <laughs> yeah, here we are, look, see? Got Nazi markings on it. <laughs> Worth a few marbles, eh? <laughs> oh, God, hey, look, Tommy Hanley. <laughs> oh, it's that man again, it's that man again. <laughs> uh, they don't mind if I do. <laughs> This is Tom speaking. <laughs> Did I do you now, sir? Yeah, don't forget the diver, sir. Don't forget the diver. Ah, <laughs> oh, you're gonna laugh, aren't you? Germany calling, Germany calling. <laughs> well, he won't be calling again, for that's for sure. What? He's gone. Oh, uh, cheerio, son. <laughs> yeah, he was a nice lad, wasn't he? I think he could have done without the information that his mother used to be known as Nosy Rosie. <laughs> well, I thought it'd give him a little laugh. <laughs> and all your war stories. Oh, never have so few been bored by so many. <laughs> hey, look, he's left his lighter. I'll oh, go no, get... leave it, Mildred. What? Yeah, I'll take it round tomorrow. Be a chance to see the nipper. Yes? Uh, 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 I'd like to have a word with Bill Albright, please. Oh, I'm afraid he's out. Um, he should be back soon, though. Oh, uh, well, my name's Roper. George Roper. I expect he's mentioned me. 
Are you the man with the sewage backflow problem? Do you think I could come and wait for you, please? Oh, yeah, yeah, I suppose so. Um, would you um, like a cup of tea? Oh, yeah, thank you for... Oh, baby, eh? Yes. Yeah. How about that, then? Amanda. Oh, you're Amanda, yeah. <laughs> oh, well, you sit down. I'll, uh, I'll put the kettle on. All right, thank you. Um, Oh, hello. You? Hello. Oh, yeah. It's nice, isn't it? Here, here, I've got something else for you. Look. There you are. Isn't that nice, eh? Yeah. I'm your granddad. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm tough. Yeah, listen, we, we, we can play together, can't we? You know, kick the can, knock down ginger. <laughs> yeah. I'll teach you to play darts. <laughs> Making friends, is she? She's good at that. Yeah. Yes. Come on, Maddie. There's a good girl. Oh. <laughs> there we are. It's uh, time for her afternoon nap. Oh, I see. Oh, well, well bye-bye then. Bye-bye. Oh. <laughs> 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 Oh, hello, son. Oh, oh hello. Yeah. You've been working, have you? Well, not exactly. I've just been up the solicitors, tidy up my mum's papers and that. Oh, yeah, it's a sad business, that, isn't it? Yeah. The thing is, Mr Roper... Oh, come on. Please, Dad. <coughs> no. What? what do you mean? Well, according to this document, my mum was paid a tenner a week for the first 16 years of my life. Ten quid? Yeah. And that seems likely it was paid by my dad. No, I didn't pay that. Oh, no, you didn't. <laughs> he did. I deny it flatly and emphatically. You can't prove it. And even if I did, I didn't mean to... to... Oh, God, it's all true. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, well, you told me that... I know, I know, and I, I know what I told you, but... Oh, well, you were with Doris that evening. Yes, well, she left. I mean, you know what she's like, prim and proper, face like vinegar. Oh... <laughs> Yeah, well, I don't remember her leaving. No, you were sleeping it off in the meter cupboard. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, you and uh, Rosie? Well, we decided there was only one fitting manner in which to celebrate the triumph of our gallant lads in Europe. That makes you his father? Yes. Oh. I would have married a George, but by the time I found out, Doris was in the same condition. <laughs> So, um, I'm not his father. And, and she was more acceptable to the bank. Yeah, but why didn't you tell me when I came round? Well, I panicked. I, I panicked. I mean, the board of directors, George, they don't approve of... <laughs> fornication at branch level. <laughs> yeah, but even so... Well, you, you know now, and you must be quite relieved to know that it's... He's not yours. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at it this way, George. I mean, what you've never had, you've never missed. Oh, <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm not bothered, really. Doesn't worry me. Well, it doesn't worry me. Well, there's no reason why it should. He wasn't your son. He wasn't yours either. <laughs> no. It was quite nice, really, being a dad for a day or two. Yes. Mildred? Yeah? I was reading a paper the other day. There's this woman in Russia had a baby at the age of 56. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. Mildred? Yeah? Do you fancy an early night? <laughs> uh, not now, George. <laughs> I've got a headache. 